With the release of DNA Star Laser Gene 9, we now offer the option to include Seekman Engine, our next-gen sequence assembly software, as part of your software suite. And to correlate with that, we've made some significant enhancements to Seekman Pro, which is used to visualize and analyze your completed assemblies. With this release, we've introduced BAM file support, which makes it extremely easy to navigate through and analyze large genomic assemblies on a desktop computer. For example, this is a human exome project that was assembled in Seekman Engine. And as you can see, I'm just scrolling through the assembly very easily, looking at the coverage and features shown here at the top of the strategy view. And all I'm using right now is a standard laptop computer. Another nice new feature with this release is the ability to calculate SNPs based on Bayesian statistical models. And if you scroll over a bit, you can see here in the SNP report that there are a few new columns related to that. One is the genotype column. Another is the PNOT ref column, which shows the probability that the SNP is a call different from the reference sequence. And finally, there's the QCall column, which gives a quality score based on the confidence that both the genotype and the SNP call are correct. Notice that you can also filter on both of these values by using these two filters here at the top of the window. You may also notice another new column in the SNP report, and that's the DB SNP ID column. This column was added to support the new DB SNP association feature in Seekman Engine, and it shows the DB SNP RS ID, if it's available, for positions with known SNPs. And if you right click on an ID and choose Open DB SNP, it will open the corresponding page for the entry at DB SNP. To learn more about the new features in Seekman Pro, or to find out how to add Seekman Engine as part of your DNA Star software suite, please visit our website at dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.